Uh, you've, uh, you've become one of the, the greats of modern South African football. But when did you start thinking, I could maybe make a career out of this? This, this could be my life going forward. I think it was just one of those days where I was invited to play a match with a couple of friends and funny enough, Mr. Brian Walters happened to be part of the guys watching us and he was a former footballer that played for Cosmos and he had links uh, at Cosmos and he invited me to train with Cosmos and since then I've never looked back and till today. So it was Cosmos, then on to Supersport, Supersport. then on to Chiefs, and, and that didn't really go so well. It probably wasn't the, the greatest stretch of the career. And yeah. I think there were a lot of people who probably thought, well, you know, maybe we've seen the last of Morgan. Yeah. And then back to Supersport. Uh, and the last couple of years, it's like you're 21 again. Someone mentioned to me that I was in exile and was at, at Chiefs, but <laughs> <laughs> that's just one of those things where, you know, you, you, you go to a place with so much expectation and you don't live up to the expectation, I think. Uh, for me, it's just to show my peers that expectation is just there as, as a goal for someone else to see what they want you to do. But it's up to you how you come back from, uh, how could I say, setbacks and just uh, live and believe in your dream. And that's something I've always admired about you because you have taken some flack over the career, especially Chiefs, so much expectation, especially given your history. Yeah. But you've taken that on the chin, you haven't let it get to you and you've come back with a, an incredible amount of strength. Yeah, I think it's it's just my support structure that I have from home, you know. Um, my parents, especially my, my late grand, she was always the one that installed all the good morals and like, don't give up on what you believe in.